then you go, that is gonna go ahead and conclude my everyday makeup routine. and welcome back to another YouTube video. I hope you're good, I hope you're well. I am always so excited to have you, but particularly excited today because I have missed you. If you're new here, please go down below and hit the subscribe button because it means the world and it really, really helps my channel. This week, I thought it was about time we did an updated everyday makeup routine. Every time I do one of these, they always do really well because you guys love my little update things have changed and I've got into like a girl of habit routine like I know what kind of makeup I want to do every day for like a natural every day and I do it and I stick to the same products because I love them so I thought it was about time to show you my everyday makeup routine for that healthy natural glowy skin that's not too heavy but also very good coverage so I've already done my skincare and put my SPF on I do get a few questions regarding SPF and my favourite at the moment, this Carbon Theory SPF. I absolutely love it because it is an SPF fluid, so it is super light and perfect under makeup. And it is also SPF 50 plus. Now, into primers, my two favourite ones are these two. Obviously, the first one is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin and Rich Face Base. It's expensive, but my goodness, it is so worth it. I love this product. And then also Vive. Skin Nova, which I just absolutely adore how this makes my skin look. I think it's honestly stunning. The combination of two, I love it. If you're looking for more of a dewy primer, then Skin Nova is your girl. But if you're looking kind of for like an everyday primer that's going to moisturise your skin, that one is this. I've recently started using the dupe for this Bobbi Brown. It's actually so, so good. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to use this one because the Aldi dupes are so hard to get your hands on. If you are lucky, you need to buy loads of them because they're just so difficult. Like some days you walk in, they've got like a good selection of makeup. Other days you walk in, they've got absolutely f all now, as always it's no surprise here we start with our eyebrows also i don't think you can see on this shot but i've got my vive jumper on mm, i feel like she's going to be a staple for autumn awesome winter i'm going to use my absolute favorite which we're running out of so i feel like i've only just got a new one but i do use this every day pretty much this is the Beauty Crop BFF Brow Wax. Also, don't judge me for being in a jumper because it has been miserable today, miserable over the last 24 hours. And we had that heat wave and I was very grateful for it, but I'm actually so ready for autumn winter now. So ready. Give me a oh, trench coat. Give me a long sleeve top. Give me layers. Give me a scarf. Give me a cap. Give me black. I am so excited. Anyway, so I just start by brushing my eyebrows in the opposite direction. And then I go in and just work them back in the position that I want them to be in. Now, I don't often fill in my brows anymore because they are looking quite good at the moment. But I do every so often. When my tint starts to run out, I take the iconic triple, triple brow. <laughs> Trouble precision brow definer and I just take the pen side which you all know if you watch my iconic video I wasn't that much of a fan of but now I love it also I didn't realize there was a spoolie hiding in here the whole time what a contraption now we've done the eyebrows we're going to move on to the skin I'm going to take my vitamin babe beauty crop concealer in the shade 5c and this is just going to help color correct and also cover these blemishes like I said, I've had a bit of a breakout around my mouth. Like I said with last week's video, just enhances the coverage. And I'm just pressing that in with my Vitamin Babe brush by the Beauty Crop. And then I go over and just buff the remaining excess of that product into my skin using my Real Techniques Expert face brush. Now, I have been loving Filter Finish by Collection this is the shade Fair One. I have just been loving this so, so much. It's been a perfect every day to stop me using my Charlotte Tilbury, which is obviously very expensive, although she's worth it. This is just going to stop me dipping into Charlotte Tilbury every single day. I'm yet to try the e.l.f. one, so I will let you know as soon as I've got my hands on that. And then just pressing that in with my More Relief foundation brush, 
which is my favourite. Right now for my everyday base makeup, there's a few products that I absolutely have been loving. We've got the first one which is the MAC Studio Radiant shade C0. I just love it. The second one is the Hydromaniac by Urban Decay. And then my other fave is the Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint. Now I absolutely love this and this is the one that we're going to be using for today's tutorial. What I absolutely love about this skin tint is that it's got firstly a little roll on. I think I did a milk makeup video and I used this and I have been in love with it ever since. You essentially just roll the product onto your skin. It's super lightweight, super healthy. It's a really good way of adding some more SPF into your skin as it has SPF 30 in. And this is the shade Fair obviously and I have just been using this as a, an everyday skin tint because I just love it so so much it is quite warm when you first apply it onto the skin but as you'll see it blends to be the perfect shade honestly I don't think anyone should sleep on this product because look at the health that that is giving if you're going on holiday anytime soon then this is the perfect kind of product that you would need in your makeup bag just going over and pressing it in and making sure it's really blended into the skin then I'm just going to go and put some more concealer on these two blemishes here same beauty crop one and just let that sit for a sec I am not exiting the group chat then we're going to go in with my obvious favorite which is the cheeks out cream bronzer and the shade butter biscuit this is my favorite for the summer but i would definitely be going back to amber for the winter or like a combination of them both just because i'm more of a cool toned contour kind of girl when it comes to the winter because i just become the most pale that you will ever see me before buffing that in i'm just going to take my beauty crop with cherie spray which i just love and I really, really hope that they've got this in stock because I need to purchase it ASAP. Let me just have a little look. Oh my gosh, they have it in stock. And also the Brie Cherie lip oils are incredible. And it usually looks like that, but like I said before, I had to have it in a different bottle because I only got a small sample test and it just spritz my face really firm and I just like it. Was not a fan of the small little sample one, whereas this is just like a finely milled mist and it is just perfect. I feel like I should do like a full face of Beauty Crop at some point and list all of my favorite products from Beauty Crop. So let me know if you want me to do that because it's super affordable and if you're gonna do an order, you might as well treat yourself. Now that is all blended, like look at how healthy my skin is looking from those products. And we're gonna go in with my fave Dolly Rose blush at the moment. This has been my everyday. This is a blush bump by makeup revolution i just press that and you'll see how gorgeous that looks on my skin it just leaves my skin looking really healthy then we're going to take my lancome ultra wear concealer which i still love don't worry i just find that it's not as bright as what i would like so that's why i've been taking my dior backstage concealer in the shade zero n this is the shade 095. So that's the lightest one that they do, but I just feel it could be just a little bit brighter. I love these two together also. They're such a nice little combo. And I've just been starting to blend that in with my finger to really work it in and then work that product up. And then I put a little bit on my nose just to add a little bit of brightness to the tip of my nose. And I'm just gonna start to blend the bottom of that concealer with my marshmallow sponge. This is the, the best beauty blender that you will ever purchase, ever. Then I'm just gonna go in and add some faux freckles as I always do with my everyday kind of makeup. This is the Frex one and I love this. Look how cute she is, she's tiny. Now our skin is looking so super healthy I'm going to go into the eyes now something I've been loving recently it's very new product to me is the Vive eye ones I firstly love the packaging on everything from Vive I absolutely love I think oh she's just done so so well and because she's a makeup artist and has worked years on makeup counters she was obviously never gonna let us down they're super super creamy you can wear them on their own and blend them into your eyeshadow or as a base for eyeshadow they're just so creamy and they also go so far we're just going to take one of those eye ones we're going to take the caramel one and i'm going to just run an angled brush this is one by beauty bag over the end of that because it's a cream it's going to last quite well so we're going to draw a little line up from our outer lash 
and then do a line adjoining to that line. So how pretty is that? And then we're just gonna take this Sigma brush and just buff it out slightly so it's slightly smoky. Kind of press, you get like a nice little smoky line. I'm gonna go over that with favorite brown liner at the moment. This is the Coco Crush Doll Beauty liner and I just love this so, so much. It's a deeper brown than this one and we're just gonna go for the very tip of it, just add a little bit of depth and it will also help set that stick. Okay, so now we've done that part, I did a bit of the same Vive color stick underneath my eyes, just using that same brush and just kind of brushed it along my lower lash line and applied some of my fave Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I didn't film that bit because that is a classic. I always, always use this mascara. But now we're gonna get on to the rest of our base. I'm gonna start by setting my under eyes. Now my favorite one at the moment is the Huda Beauty Sugar Cookie Loose Setting Powder. I spoke about this last week. I think it's honestly amazing and it just blurs your skin beautifully. I'm gonna go in with my powder puff, remove the excess, and we're not gonna bake. We're just gonna literally press that into the under eyes and you'll see what a difference that this powder makes. Look at that, look how smooth my skin looks. Then I'm just gonna brighten it slightly more and take the Jordana Tisha Set and Brighten Powder. What is amazing about this powder is it half of it is a loose setting powder and then the other half is a press setting powder. I'm gonna take the shade Half Bake because I find this really light, brightens my under eyes. I used Marshmallow last week and I still love this one, but I just love how bright this one is. To press that on the inner parts of that powder. And you can see, surely, how bright that makes my under eyes look. Then for bronzer, we're gonna take my favorite ever Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. She broke the other day when we went away for the weekend and I'm so sad. I'm gonna take it on this Sigma brush. This is the F24 brush and just put that on the tops of where I put that contour. For blush, we're gonna take my MAC Strange Things blush. I absolutely love this. I spoke about this last week. Another favorite is still my Code 8 blush. Just love, cause it's kind of, got three shades to it and it's a little bit iridescent this one and I just love that. And once again, just pressing that into the high points of my face and a little bit on my nose as well, just to bring life back into the makeup. So again, I'm gonna set with my Beauty Craft. Ah! Just love the life that it gives back into your skin. And while that dries, I'm gonna go in with my Rosewood Lip Liner by Refi, which is my favorite uh, lip liner and it's, it's just perfect. I'm gonna go in with my favorite gloss is the Refi Gloss. Get them together, guys. Just get the deal. And to finish off the look nicely, we're gonna take some liquid highlighter. This one is the Beauty Crop one, as I mentioned last week, but we're gonna take the shade Hair Pressure today, which is just kind of like a champagne-y kind of color. Just gonna take that on the back of my hand and just run my Beauty Blender over that and just press that into the high points of my cheeks just to give myself that skin-like appearance. And there you go, that is gonna go ahead and conclude my everyday makeup routine. I hope you loved it and I hope you found it useful. This has honestly been my go-to glam for a while now. It is super fresh, super light, but also very healthy. And yeah, I just love it so, so much and I hope you do too. Thank you all so much for watching as always and I'm so, so grateful for you. And I'm very excited to see you next week. I love you all. Have the best Wednesday. Bye. I love you.